ride and then I'm going to be going into work. I'm excited, but not at the same time because there's this one spot called stationary that usually needs to be zoned, like usually I mean always. It's always a mess. I love organizing it though. It's fun. Because at first I hated it. The very first two like times that I did it, I absolutely despised doing it. But then I made it fun by making kind of like a game out of it. What is the oddest thing that you can find in this aisle? Sometimes it's not that odd. It's just candy stuff and where the pens are. But sometimes you get a whole basket full of produce. Oh, it's so much fun. And then, or it's like a mix of produce and dry food. And then you have to go all the way to customer service. Get all the produce stuff into their bins. Because sometimes... At a certain point, they close down and they, like, flip over all the other bins except for the produce. And then your dry, the dry food, you have to go into every single aisle that it is supposed to be in and put the other stuff away. Which, that has happened. I think, it, well, it was the office part of the stationery where you can get, you know, your printer paper, your poster boards your boxes and all that stuff and all the paper clips and staples and sticky notes and whatnot <laughs> and there there is on the empty part of the shelf where we usually stock up our boxes but at the end of the day those boxes are gone <laughs> pretty much there's like maybe a couple boxes left those are usually the extra 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 large ones and the really really small ones that are left and it's a basket and I was like oh okay it's not gonna be too crazy no it was multiple different meats. It was grapes and like bell peppers and then a whole bunch of different dry foods. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. So I went and I, this was my first time finding something like this and I didn't know what to do because I knew when customer service was going to close. And so I was like, what do I do with this? So I went and asked one of my associates to where I actually work at in the in Walmart and he goes take the produce up to customer service and then take the dry food to each aisle that it's supposed to be in and put it away. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. So I went up to customer service, no one was there. I waited for a little bit and I was like, you know what, it's getting close to my time off. I have about 30 minutes left. So I decided that it would be a good idea to do the drive through first. And then I came back, no one was there. And I was like, you know what, they're probably busy because all this stuff that's in the bins that the sections of Walmart don't get to because they're busy, that all goes into carts. And then all the associates come and get those carts and put the stuff away where they're rightfully supposed to be. That looks like a cop. What's up? How you doing? It is undercover um and so i was like maybe they're doing that because none of the other associates are coming no they were in the back room <laughs> like their little like side room working on the tills and i didn't know that and i was just like i was standing there not knowing what to do and i just said well let's go to the back counter and see if i can find the bin i found the bin and i was like i just I just stood here for like 10 minutes not knowing what to do and all I had to do was go back behind the customer service counter and there was the bin like what the hell I didn't know that I wish I knew that and now I know that but now I make it a game what is the craziest thing that I can find in, in the stationary place which is actually really huge so you know where all the seasonal stuff is right all the way at the front of the store it's that and all the way back close to entertainment that's the whole stationary area. And then there's more in some of the aisles. Uh, I think it's to your right. Yeah. In like the J section. There was like three or four, I believe. Like somewhere around that number. It's close to one of them. Um, and you go in there and you have to check those. Well, when I first started doing this, I did not know that you had to check those. And so I thought I was done. Everything looked perfect and stuff. And I went back to where I worked. And then my team lead comes and says it's still a mess. And I'm like, sorry, there's a car up there staring at me and it's really awkward. 
and they're like it's still a me- it's still a mess in there what are you doing like why did you stop and I was like sorry I thought it was good my bad so I went back everything is perfect there's a couple items out of place because we weren't fully closed and some people need their stationary stuff so I put that away I made sure that none of the diamonds were showing so there's a little holes in the very front of um, the shelves I made sure none of the diamonds were showing I color coordinated things to exactly where they needed to be went back my team lead wasn't there and I started working and I told the people hey it's done I made sure none of the diamonds were showing everything was in place I color coded to where it needed to be I moved things up I mean I made it look so perfect and then here comes my team lead I see her go to the stationery and check and then after she went through all those aisles, she disappeared. So I was like, oh, it's perfect. Yay, I did my job. She comes back and tells me, it's still a mess. It looks like you did nothing. What? I was so flustered. Then to find out, because I ended up going back, everything was perfect. Again, a couple items were out of place because we weren't fully closed yet. So I put those items back. I moved things up again because some things got pushed back and stuff when people were trying to find what they needed. And so I moved those things back. I put everything back to where it was. It looked perfect. She was off. And I was like, okay, I'm good. I'm going to finish my shift. And where I was supposed to be. Sorry, the air is just killing my eyes. Finishing my shift where I was supposed to be. The next day, she comes in heat. Kind of, it looked like she was heated. I don't do great with, like, feeling cues. Like, I can get a little over the basics. But sometimes, I just can't tell. Uh, Especially if I just now, like, met you because I'm new to this store she comes in and she just looks mad and I was like I swear if this is about the stationery I'm gonna be pissed and I said to my other associates I did the stationery the ones that didn't work last night and they gave me the, the look and I was like what the heck and so I went up to my team lead and I said how'd you like the stationery section and she goes it was a mess and I'm like, what do you mean? Everywhere from the seasonal all the way to back to the electronics area was perfect. And she goes, what about the J sh- section of the J section of the stationery? And I went, there's a J section of the stationery? What? And I was like, I'm so sorry. I kept trying to rack my brain around how everything is messed up how everything is out of place and how I was doing it wrong because I was going back to the same spot I've been going to that whole time making sure it was perfect and coming back and being told it wasn't I was so freaking confused I was getting so flustered and she goes I can't believe you didn't know that there's a J section to the stationery and she showed me and I was like holy crap it is a, it, it is a mess and she goes well actually overnight crew did like fixed it up but you just came in around like nine and obviously people are gonna be around in the stationary area. So yeah, it's gonna be a mess. And I was like, thank you for letting me know. Now when I zone in the stationary section, I'll look there. So I've been doing that and now everything's perfect. So yeah. What's up? I'm on break. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm on break and I love it. We love break time. Just soak up the non-people. And then go back in with a big smile on my face and say, Hi, how can I help you? (laughs) I love my job. It's awesome. But it's technically temporary because I want to become a firefighter when I grow up. But we're working with what we got. Alright, see you on the next check-in. And welcome back. Oh my god, that was really, really energetic. Welcome back. I bought me a drink because holy cannoli, I was parched. (laughs) Anyways, so, so far, everything's been going smoothly and all that, which is nice. I, so far, have not been asked to go to stationary to zone. (laughs) Like I said, I love organizing it and love playing the game of what is the weirdest thing you can find in this aisle? Like I I told you the story (laughs) earlier in this vlog. Um, it is 8.06 right now. I did not keep up with the time before, but before it was 7. Yes. Before it was 7, and then before that it was around like 4.40 something. 
I know, I know. Only an hour later and I'm taking my lunch. I was asked to do an early lunch and if I could only take a 30 instead of a one hour because for every six hours you get a 30 minutes towards your lunch, which is nice. And since I'm only working six hours, I'm obligated to take a 30, but I can take an hour. We're not paid for our lunch time. Kind of sucks, but it's all right. It's understandable. Paying us for the rest of the stuff. Um, and the reason why they're saying, can you please just take the 30 and not do the hour is because we're kind of busy, but not so busy that we're like, ah, we can't help every customer that's here. It's like, oh, we're busy to the point where there's enough flow of customers, there's enough stuff that needs to be put away that came in from the trucks that it would be polite and responsible and the right thing to do to take, only take the 30. So that is what I'm doing. I'm taking 30 minutes and then rolling back in. More like walking. Then. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Anyways. I don't know what to talk about, to be honest. I feel like nothing too crazy. Oh my gosh, I can. Nothing too crazy has happened. Knock on wood. I don't actually have real wood in here. It's all metal and leather and long. I can tell you what about this. Like my little. You can't see. I have dice. Uh, oh, you saw it. Wait, hold on. I have two dice that are hanging from here that are sparkly and fizzy. And then I have my graduation tassel. It says 2021 and has the tornado for Masto. We love, we love, we very much love it. I've had also, sorry, I've had so many compliments on my shirt, which actually, guess what? <gasps> Wait for it. Dun. I got from Walmart. It was on sale. It was only seven bucks instead of 15 or whatever. Every time I, so allergies, I promise gonna hear that a lot or want to breathe through my nose but it's better than going <laughs> every time I need to breathe because I feel like I breathe a lot throughout my videos and all yours and people over 21 make it a drinking game every time you hear drink you would have to drink a lot <laughs> just from the, the last like couple seconds because I just went <laughs> now nah, I'm messing with you. Um, no, just kidding. I'll go back to regular breathing. Anyways, but yeah, so it's allergies. My sniffing through the nose or like breathing through the nose. If my nose starts bleeding, I'm going to be kind of mad. I think it is. Hold on. Nope, we're good. We're good. I have hand sanitizer somewhere because I was kind of gross. Um, I'm so sorry for people who took my suggestion and making this a drinking game. Also, another drinking game you could do, if I, how many times to say um? Or but like B U T not B U T T. So, you know. And the kids, no, <laughs> illegal. I'm not going to be the reason why you make illegal decisions. That's not fair. Not on me. I get in trouble by law enforcement. You get in trouble by parents. Totally different thing. One is the legal system; it goes on permanent record. The other one is parents. Still a big deal though. Listen to your parents. Don't do drugs, stay in school. Ta -da. You can, like, drink uh, chocolate milk or whatever drink you like. Whatever. Every time I or say um or but or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to find the things to talk about. And uh, that's my brain. Just, uh, just like reboot. I'm back. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be one of my cringiest once ever just by the stuff I do in here and just and by my faces just by my faces oh my I had to park in a different spot that's one thing we can talk about I had to park in a completely different spot than I usually do I usually park way over there but when I work all the way till like dark I want to be by a light and by the closest exit that we can use because our at least our Walmart closes one of their well, technically two, the garden center, and then one of the other ones at 10. Well, I get off at 11. So, I just now used my smarticles and parked over by the other one that stays all the way till 11, so we can actually exit and get to where we needed to be, called car, drive, home, sleep. Although, I'm always 
tired when I get off work, get home, and then I'm awake and can't fall asleep, and it takes me about 30 minutes to an hour to go back to sleep, which really sucks because then it's like 12 to 1 o'clock, and OMG, when I have to work an early shift the next morning, I'm like, hey guys, I'm just so tired, and I absolutely just can't wake myself up for the first 30 minutes to an hour of working. It's like, that's fair. Not fair, not fair at all. I do a lot of accents, by the way. Just randomly. Be ready for that. Oh my gosh, I keep doing this. Mint, if you know what I'm talking about. Mint. I, used to, I think that was, I don't, I'm not saying it because I feel like I'm going to be either aging myself or offending the people who know where it's from. So, if you know, mint. I'm bleeping out what the actual word is, but. Which, in my just recent one, it slipped and I suck at editing. I probably would have deleted over half the video instead of the small clip because I'm just new to this and I didn't take Photoshop. I didn't do nothing like that because Photoshop you do actually like videos. Yeah, whatever. It's edit videos and stuff like that as well as pictures. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying is I had to park in a completely different area. And I was hoping I could park closer to the entrance than I am now, and I can't because there's cars there. And I'm not moving it now because if there's none there and then I come back to get into this parking spot and then I can't, I'd have to back into this parking spot. I suck at backing up. My dad is the king of our family with backing up. He can back up almost any vehicle into our small little driveway, but I can't back into the driveway and I can't back out of the driveway without being so afraid I'm going to hit the wall or hitting the brick wall that's on the other side. And so I'm like parking in a parking lot and backing up where there's cars by the side of me probably isn't the smartest decision of my life. Especially if they're in the car. So that would suck. Mind your own beeswax. Don't look in my car. I'm making a video. I'm like, I'll just like, eh, this is what she's doing. I'm just FaceTiming somebody, so like, bug off. Bug. I said bug off. I know, I know. Trying to censor things can just be like, why? Why do you censor this stuff? Depending on how old my viewers are, but I don't know. Right now I have, I have one subscriber. That is so sad for me. Just kidding, I just started, I don't care. Well, I care because I enjoy making videos for people and making them laugh and, I guess, educating them even though I haven't really made any of those videos. So, I've just made some long but slightly slow videos, I guess, that are fun to watch. But at the same time, it's like, come on, man. I thought somebody literally just waited for that guy to pull out and then pull through because that would have been funny. My dad does it all the time. I'm getting sidetracked again. But hey, I have some good videos. I'm getting used to it, okay? I'm getting used to talking to the camera in public, not in public, making conversation. I say that now and I'm going to make a video in my room doing whatever, clay rings, DIY, whatever, anything. And it's going to be just the same thing as before. But if not... Mark my word, I said it in the video that I was going to get better. And if I don't do the right, if I if I go against what I just said, don't count me on it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I mean, I could talk about myself, which I'm pretty much already doing. But at the same time, it's like, this girl talks a lot about herself. It's crazy. I did it again. Um, yeah. I guess we'll ravine when I'm off because I don't have any more breaks, so bye. So, my internet sucks out here. So, we're back. Back! <laughs> Do I know what to talk about? No, not really. But, I thought... I can't watch anything. I can't look up anything. Why not? Film... 
I really sounded unexcited about that, but it's only because I don't know what to talk about. This angle makes my car look cute <laughs> and not messy, but my car's messy. Like, not like messy, but like it's got some clutter. It's got like hoodies in the back. <gasps> my lunch! I think I got my lunch. Cheetos or barbecue? Anyways, it's been pretty out. I just say that. Um, sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, sunset. I like how my brightness just decided to be rude. Mm. Oh, it's not gonna let me do it now. Daytime? Nighttime. Nighttime. Rude. The video stopped. This is how it looks. There's better of the sunset stuff. Way over. Way over that way. But we can't get there. Well, okay then. Rude. Oh. I think they know them. Resetting up my phone is just like right there. It does not really work. It's gonna be a very crunchy tip. ASMR. Okay. That was a very sharp chip. And it hurt my gum. Because it stabbed it. I hope that lady did not see me accidentally make eye contact with her. if she's yelling at him or not. Sorry, I'm a people watcher. It can be creepy, but it's fun. Mm, that came off really wrong. You know when you're just looking around? It's the same thing. You just look around and there's people and some people call it people watching. That guy has a huge dent in his car. Somebody's on a road trip. Somebody's on a road trip. I like shook my car. Oh, I don't want to talk about the boxes here. Are rude. Boxes, not buses. Buses are really nice. It's like a family here. But the boxes are rude. They give. They they, they stab me. They cut me. They leave cardboard slivers. I never would think cardboard slivers would hurt so bad. They do. They very much so do. Okay. So, I'm sorry. My makeup is like stabbing me in the eyes. Anyways. So pretty much there was this one time I was opening up a box. Like I bought a box cutter. Opened it. Well, and then I went to open up the box and on my thumb I just went and inserted a huge piece of freaking cardboard into my thumb. Into my thumb. Like it hurt. I was like, ow. Like, ow. So I took my box knife and I was like, carefully just like, I'm trying to move the skin. It, was, it wasn't like cardboard skin over tiny little hole. No, it was like, cardboard and skin flap that sounds so nasty <laughs> but i was like moving the skin with my box knife while trying to like pick it out and it was just like i think it was like that big and like super short but it's so hard like oh my Ooh. so i don't wear makeup much my eyes don't like it i don't get it in my eye but then when rubbing my eyes it gets in my eye does that make sense oh. ow you know when you burp and the carbonation goes in your nose? That just happened. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's like burning. And like, 
Oh, you like my new necklace? Isn't it cute? It's like two bucks. This is nice. I got it from Walmart. It's got a choker, a little circle, and stars and moon. And then, um, I think it's a crescent moon, like, and then a little planet. Super cute. I think Shein has the exact same one, but I got this one from Walmart. So, and my Apple Watch, I got the band from Walmart. I know, working at Walmart, buying everything from Walmart. And I got this. I'll give this one to me. It's actually a necklace, but I made it into a bracelet. Just by wrapping it over, putting it over my hand, wrapping it over, putting it on my hand, wrapping it over, putting it on my hand, just over and over again until, boom, bracelet. And then my sunglasses, Walmart. And they're not sunglasses, they're blue light glasses, because they look at a screen for a while when checking people out. So earlier in this vlog, I was talking about how um, this the air was hurting my eyes. The Walmart AC is like 20 times worse. My eyes are watering. And since they're irritated by the air, they look red. I'm like, well, maybe I'll bring my glasses. I just made it worse. My alarm went off. Bye. So you want to get off? This is what I was talking about. Oh, you can't even see it. And then, and then, pretty. I'm not off. I'm on a break. They forced me to take a 15 minute break. I think this is the most time I've had so many breaks at a point. I'm not complaining. It's just a little annoying because we don't get paid for our breaks. And I would not like to take the other break because technically I'm only working six hours and stuff. I don't need to take a second 15 break because it's so close to the time that I usually would get off, which is at 11. So I guess technically not all the way, but at the same time, it's kind of annoying, but I guess it's whatever. So out to my car, chillaxing. This is how this is doing. Look, it's getting too cute. All right. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. It looks so creepy in here without any lights. It's like, uh, I guess if there's nothing there, or if it was like fully dark, creepy, creepy, creepy. Also, you wouldn't really be able to see me, so.
back out to my car. It's pointless to stay in my car, and I don't want to wait in there because, like, oh, you know, it's kind of boring. It's just kind of boring just to sit there and not be working. And it's just no fear. No fear. No fear. brights rude you just blinded me you don't need your brights in a parking lot when there's still lights out and also you have lights above you wait what do you mean why you gotta be so rude aren't you not human too yeah that's all i got what is this chick doing is that cat <gasps> it's Cat! What's up, Cat? What's up? What's up? What's up? What the Okay, if you struggled this hard, <laughs> I'm scared to see you on the road. Just kidding. Love a cat if that's you. If not, awkward. Because I just stared at you for five minutes. Bright light. Checking to see if I look like a raccoon because I've been rubbing my eyes and we know that happens. Oh, I just now noticed when I get home I have to take makeup off. I mean, it feels great. Take makeup off. But at the same time, it's not because I'd rather just lay in bed and try to go to sleep. And the makeup wipes make me more awake because it's kind of refreshing on your face. And it's Not my eyebrows, my eyelashes look like spider legs because there's too much mascara on it. I'm tired. Like, tired, tired. Like, overly tired. I'm just like. I'm done looking at myself. You can barely see me. You can barely see me. No, it's this way. See me now? Although this makes me very more like, look at me in the parking lot. He's fine. The cat, I like this. Now those are gonna be swinging for a fat minute. Try to stop them. Hold on. What's up? That usually doesn't work. Maybe it likes you. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. It's getting darker and darker by the minute. And it's like, I don't want to look back. Why didn't I just go in the break room? Because my headphones were on my car and I couldn't watch anything. And I would have been bored just sitting there and I probably would have looked. Ooh, I can finish my lunch. I know. How sad is it that my lunch is a bag of chips? Just kidding. It's not sad. I just wish I had like a salad. I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. So we're a little low. And then stuff. Being stared at by an old man with a hat. We're making eye contact. He walked away. It wasn't like he was getting in his car. No, he just stopped. Stared at me. Weird people. bothers me there are some lights that have like white lighting to it there's some that are like almost orange yellow it's just a mix match like why 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 you gotta be like that why can't you just match up like normal people i'm calm man how rude 
You know we used to have a pharmacy pickup here? I think we still do. Oh, where are you? Where are we go. Oh, for online pickup. You know what sucks? It's Friday, right? It is. That's not what sucks. Sucks is one. I work on the weekends. Every now and then, there's Sunday off. But, once again, not really what sucks. My little cousin's birthday is on Sunday, and her party starts at 1 and gets over at 3.34, I believe. I get off at 3. She lives about 15, 20 minutes if I speed. But, um, I'm not gonna do that because I kind of don't want, to in a car, don't want to get in a car wreck and my car has already almost put me in two. Well, no. It put me in one and it almost put me in another. Not even like four days apart. How rude is that, you know? Rude. But, anyways. So truthfully, it's like a 30 to 40 minute car ride. By the time I get there, it's over. Or like like real close to over you know and that, okay the 30 to 40 minutes is just to get to the area not to where she lives just to the area like the general area to where she lives in so i had a caller well i told her to call me and i hope this isn't disgusting trust me i use hand sanitizer that doesn't taste the best to me but I don't have napkins. Anyways, I had a caller. Technically, told her to call me, but we called, and I told her I couldn't come. And you can see by her face, she was a little disappointed. But I thought I'd give her some money, and I'll take her out to go shopping. Either she can come Sunday night. I, well, like Sunday ish after um, her party's over and come home with my parents. And then we meet up at the house and she stays till Tuesday. So that's Sunday night, Monday through Monday, and then go home like at 5 on Tuesday or 6 on Tuesday or whatever. Because the road at night, just to get to the area she lives in, is not the best in daytime and it's worse at nighttime because one, Drivers get even crazier in two deers. Deers. There's so many deers on that road. I said deer so many times and I just did it again. But anyways, so it's probably not gonna be till it's gonna be not like when dark comes, but it's not gonna be early in the day. But I'm just gonna take her out shopping. Hit the go wells to shops. End up doing a haul with you, probably film some videos. I got cut off by my alarm to go to work. But that girl does TikToks like it's her religion. I get something that she breathes. She needs to live. Which, honestly, she's pretty famous on TikTok for her age. She's like 12. Anyways, she loves the thrift shops. So do I. Which is awesome because I really don't want to drive to the mall because there's one way to get to the mall. A mall that isn't the freeway. I don't like. psychotic drivers nobody letting you into the other lane when you need it you know the usual and damn let me open my door and so there's like one way to get to the mall area that's not a freeway but it adds like 50 minutes to your time so that's like oh that's like a good chunk of our day because we're gonna drive there we're gonna be there for about an hour or two yeah we can spend an hour or two in a mall probably more because we like to actually look at like almost every we like to go through the racks that's why we can spend multiple hours in a goodwill but anyways so we're gonna be there for that and then we're gonna want to get lunch we either would get lunch in the mall or we would go and get lunch somewhere else so that's even more time and then by the time we get back it's just not ethnical because it's like a whole day thing and we just wasted a whole day to it. 
I gotta go. Bye. I'm zooming out of store. My shift is over. <laughs> I get to go home. It is 11 up tonight. I want to be going to sleep till morning time. Because... Nice try! You too! Because, like, their kids are trying to themselves to the suicide, right? Whoa! a very serious topic. Talking about the whole cop thing and the new laws that are coming out and everything. But since this. I mean, I have an opinion about it. It's just the thing is. I don't know. I just feel like there's so many points of view. Obviously, one does come ahead. But when you're on social media and everything and you don't know the opinions of your followers and stuff, you never, well, I can't say never want to post, like, post out your opinion. But more like, more like you want to be careful what you post because you don't want to offend anybody which is honestly it's hard to do because um it's not like impossible but with how the world works at some point it's like you try your best to please everybody but there's no way of pleasing everybody so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive home don't know if you can hear me, but I'm driving home. Um, good night. So I'm home watching. Watch yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, press the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos.